The Radek HB02 is a new generation hyperbaric oxidizer system. It is a fully integrated system specifically designed to quantitatively oxidize combustible materials to water and carbon dioxide using an excess of oxygen in a closed pressure vessel. These systems are routinely used to extract volatile radionuclides from a range of materials such as plastics, rubber, oil, resins and soft wastes as part of waste characterization in the nuclear decommissioning and related sectors. In addition, foodstuffs and environmental materials such as biota are also readily decomposed to provide representative samples of tritium and carbon-14 for analysis. The heart of the HBO is a 5-litre precision-engineered pressure vessel designed to safely operate up to 95 bar. The system incorporates a user-friendly manual gas handling system, including user-adjustable pressure regulation and flow control. A wide variety of input and output connections are incorporated into the advanced design of the HBO2. Four safety interlocks and a dual pressure protection system ensure that the system functions safely. Unique features of the HBO2 include a novel, easy-to-use door closure mechanism, a combustion viewing window and pressure and temperature displays for real-time monitoring. The rugged door opens to conveniently allow manual loading of the DC ignition wire and pressed samples prior to combustion. A special low-mass sample support and holder are crucial components that prevent incomplete combustion or quenching of samples. The integrated viewing board allows the complete sample combustion process from start to finish to be viewed directly if desired alongside the digital indicators. All key combustion related parameters are recorded and displayed in real time using a Radex system program written in LabVIEW. The product gases produced during complete oxidation of materials are quantitatively collected through a cryo-trapping system that uses vacuum-grade glass condenser tubes fitted inside a graphite heat exchanger block. Let's have a look at a typical combustion cycle. Preparing a sample for quantitative oxidation starts with loading a compacted sample into the burn position of the HBO2 sample chamber. Samples of up to 30 grams are placed in a special silica crucible. Samples can be any combustible solid or liquid, although non-combustible samples can be included if mixed with a combustion promoter. After sample loading, a replaceable ignition wire is made to contact the sample that will initiate combustion. The chamber door with its special rotary locking system is closed, which engages the first of four security interlocks. Oxygen is introduced through a check valve from a compressed gas cylinder until 20 bar is reached, after which the inlet valves are closed for safety. Pressing a safety interlocked ignition switch initiates sample combustion that can be observed through a special viewing window. During combustion, a rapid rise in internal gas pressure and vessel temperature occurs over the 10 to 30 second cycle and are displayed and recorded by the system software. Typically, the vessel temperature and pressure may rise to 60 degrees centigrade and 50 bar, which are well within the design limits of the system. After combustion, the system records the falling pressure of the vessel temperature. Collection of the combustion water and carbon dioxide from the chamber is a two-stage process. Stage 1 involves pressure release. The chamber outlet valve is open to slowly release excess oxygen and the carbon dioxide and water vapour produced during combustion. These volatile products are collected in two special glass cryo traps held at minus 110 degrees centigrade. 
the primary tube collects more than 95% of the combustion products. Stage 2 involves vacuum extraction. A changeover valve opens the system to vacuum, which draws any water vapour and other gases remaining in the chamber through the cryotraps. After pumping for typically 45 minutes, all water and CO2 have been trapped. and the chamber can be opened. The whole process from loading through ignition, venting and vacuum extraction typically takes one hour per sample. Cleaning and preparing the system for another burn can be completed in less than 30 minutes. The HBO2 hyperbaric oxidizer is a proven analytical device that has been in routine use in radioanalytical laboratories since 2012. Complete combustion of samples takes less than one minute. The high-capacity combustion chamber results in complete sample oxidation. The completely converts most combustible materials to water sample and carbon oxidation. dioxide. Efficiently decomposes all organic-rich materials. The oxidation of large samples offers improved limits of detection compared to thermal oxidizers. This extends analytical options for environmental monitoring, nuclear decommissioning and fusion reactor operational support. Clean tritiated water is extracted after combustion. Tritiated water is available for analysis by liquid scintillation counting or helium-3 in-growth mass spectrometry. Carbon-14 is quantitatively produced during efficient combustion. Carbon dioxide is trapped and made available for analysis by liquid scintillation counting. HBO2 hyperbaric oxidizer. Versatile, proven, productive, cost effective. For further information, please see the detailed video and PDF media available for each of our products at www.radec.com. The entire suite of high definition video media is also available on our YouTube channel. You can contact us directly at sales.radec.com. At